Hi guys, back again. So this time I want to talk about fans. So fans are on most gas appliances and the fan is to remove the products of combustion. This is quite an old fan. So let's start off with the old and work up to the most modern. So this is an old fan and if this is if if this fan is not functioning, the first thing you could do is listen to it. If it sounds really um, loud, like it's squeaking, that's usually the bearings, the bearings are worn. What you could do with that is just temporary space some WD-40 on the bearings and start moving the propeller and get it functioning again. That will get you working. One thing you can do is check the hoses. Sometimes there can be a little blockage on this. So clean, always clean the hoses. Check that it's actually activating and sending the air pressure. Another thing is you can check the actual air pressure switch is working. Again, you will have an activation of this. Com life supply, uh, normally open, normally closed. So just check the power slides moved moved across to that. The other thing you can do to check an older fan like this is check the resistance. So to check the resistance, you get a multimeter. Change it to the horseshoe. There's the horseshoe look. Remove the harness, obviously check the power supplies off. Remove the wiring harness, so you're doing a resistance reading on the component. Remember, a resistance reading is how easy the electric goes through the component. And usually, the lower the resistance, the quicker the component moves. So, here we go. Set to resistance. Remove the wire harness, the electric's all off, safe isolated. Forty-five ohms, and then with that information, what you would do is you check your um, the resistance readings, what it should be against the manufacturer's um, instructions, and it's going to be within ten percent, so plus or minus either way. Next thing, let's say for example, it's a modern appliance. On a modern appliance, what can happen is you have more electronics. So on a modern appliance, next to the fan, you'll have a, like a form of tachometer and that will measure the revolutions of the propeller and you go into the software, the intelligent interface and it will tell you the actual fan speed and the target fan speed say so for example, if it's going to high fire the target fan speed should be could be, I don't know, 5000 revolutions per minute and it could only be doing 2000 so therefore it will give up a fault code or tell you that it's faulty because it's only doing 2,000 when it should be doing the actual target speed of 5,000 and that's another method of checking. So here we go, you've got fault codes, resistance readings, tubes, air pressure switch and lubricate the bearings. Hope you enjoyed that, thank you.